Hello, you beautiful creatures. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. I have to keep the track record. Up. If you're new here, my name is Lou, or Lucifer, as my friends like to call me. By my friends, I mean my ever-growing army of demons. I am the demon consort. Very good, very good. Uh, happy download, everybody. Woohoo! It is that time of year again. Yes, it is. Just gone past eight in the morning mm -hmm. um We're tired we are tired but it's okay it's this one's birthday weekend as well very very exciting uh so he's going to have a mahusive birthday badge on his jacket at some point now we are doing rip so today we're basically going to show you all the things that are included with rip uh, if you choose to go rip or if you're camping in general just give you like a basic idea of it maybe give you a little bit of a tour We'll see what happens, but we're not due to get in until 12 o'clock, are we? No. No. Car parks are open though. The car parks are open, so we are going to head off now after getting a Mackey's breakfast, um, because we're heathens. But yes, we are going to have a wonderful time, a horrible time even, in the best possible way. So stay tuned for our download yeah. series, and we will see you on the road. to Mackie's mainly because the whole place was like brimming with metal heads to find out that someone had literally scraped the car by accident by accident these things happen I move. I did good I did what Thumper says you can't say anything nice don't say anything at all to be fair I think they were more terrified of me than they were of you because I was just like stood there silently staring um, yes <laughs> It's fine. It's the 20th anniversary of download. It's all right. We're okay. We're okay. Are you telling me or you? Me. Um, <laughs> I've just had a message from a friend saying that the traffic is slowly starting to build up because they've changed the way they're doing it somehow. I don't know. Every time we've gone, it's been pandemonium. Getting the car in, going to different places. I will say there are different entrances depending on where you're going so obviously RIP uh, we've got a different entrance to standard camping so the best thing to do is check it out uh, get a vibe of where you're going so that it makes the journey a little bit easier but we're going to show you now well when we get there we've literally only just entered Derbyshire the motherland um, We've only just entered Derby, so I will show you whereabouts you'll be going. Uh, if you're thinking about doing RIP next year, or if you're uh, thinking about doing standard camping, but yeah, what a morning already! Gradually, we are moving. We have been in the queue for an hour. Well, that was traumatic. Are you okay? We're in. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> It's uh yeah, so it's it's signposted but it's it's not it's not. Um something's cracked off. I don't know what it is, I don't know what the crack is. Uh I think it was signposted, but the sign was like too close to the entry point. Yeah, yeah. Um we've been in traffic for like going on almost an hour an, uh, an hour yeah almost an hour so it's been it's been a lot so make sure for the love of satan that you come in good time because yowie wowie that was a lot it is a sold out event 
so I can kind of understand it, but damn. Oh, that's the RIP car park so far. Oh, wow, okay. I'm not upset about that. Right, Whereas I need, I need to talk to this man here. Last time it was quite full, but yes. Ta-da, we've made it, yes. And it seems like, hopefully, they're taking people to the campsite already, and it's only five past 11, but we're not too sure. Gareth has literally got to go and make a phone call to the insurance company because someone literally scraped past our car. Woohoo! Um, yeah, it was it was a little bit stressful getting in. Not gonna lie. Like Gareth said, I think the signposts for where you need to go are too close to the actual entrances. So by the time you get there, you get like really stressed. Like, oh my god, I've missed it. It might not necessarily be the right one. But I'll show you if I can. Because what happened was we didn't actually get our uh, our car park uh, post sent to us because it just didn't get to us in time. So we had to uh, print it off. But that's what it looks like. And then on the back, we've got like a little map there. So I don't know if you can really see yeah it's not that clear really but it does kind of show you where blackgate 2 is you are looking for rip you are looking for metal car park uh for the rest of them it's a little bit further down or beforehand i'm not too sure they have got like multiple drop-off points as well just be aware that the uh the locals have all like blocked off their drives and whatnot so you basically can't turn around in their drives, uh, which is understandable. You know, you don't want random people turning around in your drives, parking in front of your houses either. So yeah, just be mindful of that. But yeah, once Gareth's talked to his insurance company, then we're gonna rock and roll and see what's happening. Before it gets manic, this is basically what you're looking at. I'll show you a little bit more before I get run over. Um, I mean, if I do, you know, insurance anyway. So this is your RIP car park. You come in through here. This is also where your bus is coming from and they drop you off here and I believe you start walking up that way. I'm not too sure but we have got the shuttle buses over here that will be arriving very soon for us because we're bougie apparently. <laughs> we do like the finer things in life. Uh, Non-campers you are going up that way following it up all the way up there. Uh, campers you are heading back down that way from where the bus has dropped you off but yeah this is this time last year we did come later so there's a lot less people here so hopefully what we're going to try and do oh my god i can't escape work it's the curse of alton manor if you haven't been on it i'd fully recommend it i don't work in there unfortunately but you know it is what it is uh, yeah so sometimes there can be a lot of waiting around here i mean last year we waited about two hours before we were told we could walk go up the walkway so that was a bit frustrating but hopefully things are going to be a little bit easier this year gift we just did a yes i'm not telling you what the gift is because it's really funny we just did the bag check it was very painless yeah. absolutely fine uh only issue is we were ready to go and walk because you know thought may as well um one of the attendees said it was open to go and turns out it's not so there was just a tiny bit of miscommunication but that's okay there's like hardly anybody here either so it's you know absolutely fine but it's all go guys it's all go i literally feel like a pack mule i've got one bag on the front and then another bag on the back but it's fine because we love what we do and breathe we're here this isn't us but uh, we're here and we're saying that this is very bougie we're just about to get our keys and our gift for camping <laughs> let's go we're back i'm so happy we're literally in the same place which i'm not upset about at all but yeah it's good to be back really good we are pretty much if you've watched the vlogs from last year which i sincerely hope you have because half of you have said that the reason you've got rip is because of us so it's your fault that we had a hard time getting getting one of these cabins this is kind of similar to what we had last year just a little bit bigger and with less like bits and bobs which side are we on but 
but oh my gosh. Two four one. Two four one. This is home, and we've got a little little window. I stay cute, man. On the other side, you've got your smaller cabins and um, like mini buses and the yurts. Yeah, we were only there. Yeah. Oh my God, we were literally just over there. Oh, cute. We're like the first ones here as well. Here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Ooh. Okay, it's not not bad, not too bad. It's an actual bed. It's an actual bed, which is a star. Um, we've got a light. It's it's basic. It's literally basic. So, you know, we've also got a a bigger uh, window here that we can open up. Whereabouts is the plug? I think it's down here. So, can you replicate with this pin what you just did? Ooh, that's going on the board. Yes. <laughs> this is the little pack we've got. I love the logo this year. This is insane. This is the lanyard. These are really, really good to get. If you're getting standard uh, arena, then these are perfect to get if you haven't got the app. Like, I've, I've got a massive collection of these, but it's basically a smaller version of this without the interviews and whatnot. Tells you all of your times. So you've got the doghouse stage, uh, side splitter stage, so that's where all your comedy acts are. And then you've got all of the bands on all the different stages, which, like I said, you know, really freaking useful. And then we've got... The important little catalog so they've got program. little uh little yeah program so they've got different things in here they've got different festivals that they're doing they've also got different gigs that they're doing as well i would love to go to that one and then they've kind of got oh limp biscuit are touring that's brilliant red hot chili peppers that's for eloise yeah oh also they've got this scheme going on again so it's a recycling scheme if you find any of these then you can get money back for them so if you see people wandering around in the arena with like mountains of cups that's what they're doing they're um they're getting a little bit of dollar oh babe but stop it i know electric core boy and ghost uh at the same time and then we've got interviews with some of the different bands as well i'm so excited for evanescence but this is also we got home. The, this um a little preview of the merch as well Ooh, share share with us nice i like this one mm. i really like that one and the sleeping mask as well also bucket hats Let's start a poll. Bucket hats, yay or nay? Because I don't really like bucket hats personally, but some people live by them. We're home. We are home. We are so happy to be home. It's been, well, it's been a year. It has been a year. It's, it's been a year and we've missed it so, so much. So I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a chill. We're going to show you around. So we're going to show you the toilets. We're going to show you the showering facilities. We're going to show you uh, the food stand. And then we are potentially going to go up to the village because I imagine it's going to be quite quiet. People are gradually getting in. And I know everybody's excited to see what the toilet situation is mm -hmm. this year and the, and the shower situation. My top tip for the showers would be get there as early as possible because the earlier you are, they would have just been cleaned so it means that you'll have a cleaner shower then you if you went queues. and you missed the cues That's why I'm um, up at six in the yeah it's normal for us to get up quite early gareth will actually probably do a tour of the village whilst i'm sleeping like we did last year and then i'm going to go and do rock fit before we go into the arena tomorrow yeah we meet again very intimately this is the toilet also the water not for drinking don't do it we have paper very very good only use as much as you need don't put it down the toilet either uh hand sanitizer we've got a bin we have 
I've got the toilet paper here and the dreaded toilet. Now, I will tell you that they can get smelly and it can get really, really intense. So what I suggest is go to the toilet first thing in the morning and then just hope for the best. I don't know, but yeah, this is the toilet situation. This is the bougie side of download with the, uh, with the nice toilets. And this is the shower. Here we go, yes, the fabled shower. So you have got space to put things. You've got two hooks here. You've got one hook here. However, sometimes things are prone to slip on the floor. So what I recommend doing is wearing the outfit you're going to wear for the day here, uh, having your shower and then changing back into it just so it doesn't, you're not taking loads of stuff into the shower with you. I'm literally having to do this like bits at a time because gay bar's on and I really don't want to get monetized for gay bar. But you keep pressing that. Um, it has bouts of like 30 second bouts and then you have to keep pressing it. But yeah, that's the shower situation with some more toilets over here. And now we're coming into the pamper area. Again, like the toilets and the showers, I recommend coming here super early because this place can get very, very busy. So you've got your hair dryers, you've also got your straighteners. They're not the best straighteners in the world, but they do the trick. And this is where you can pamper yourself and get really bougie. Can we just talk about the fact that we, all we can hear is sound checks from the main stage and we're pretty sure that's Metallica playing. I am very pleased with this. As we move towards the village, we have got the co-op back again. Co-op 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's wow. Yowie wowie. This is bigger and badder than it was last year, bad which is bad, bad is in good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were a lot of complaints last year that co-op had their music on until like three o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a camp behind them this year. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hot damn. So we're gonna check out the Download Superstore. It's not looking, I know this looks busy, but this isn't mad. So we're gonna go and have a look at it now and show you what the crack is. And then probably go into co-op a little bit later. Oh, oh my God, I wanna buy everything. This isn't good, this isn't good. This is dangerous, we got, we got candles. We're gone. Action figures. There's literally so much to look at, guys. I can't. We're gonna need to like decompress for this one and just like take you around because this is madness. These dressing gowns are everything, no. guys. Stop it right now. <gasps> they do double. Babe, they do double. They do double. They do double. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna spend so much money and it's really soft as well. Damn it. Damn it. They've got gaming chairs as well. This is mad. Download Donington. Amazing. And over there. Oh, he's like Sonic. That's so cute. <laughs> And over there, they've got hot sauce. And I was just saying to Gary, Dean, mate, you've been hard done by. Where you at, bro? Like, we could do with you getting some hot sauce down here. Run them under the table, because we know you do hot sauce right. Stop it. When I get, like, you know, rich and famous one day, this, this is the goal. This is the goddamn goal. They got coffee blends as well. Oh right, okay. Unfortunately, I'm not a coffee drinker because the last time I had coffee, I nearly died. But we got the retro plush. We've got rubber ducks. You got a ducky. We've got jewelry. So much jewellery, hoodies, that is really nice and it's in the font that nobody can understand but we know what it is. We've got hoodies, we've got crop hoodies, there's joggers as well. The jackets over here, oh my gosh, they look 
so nice. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't doubt it. Yeah, they've got the sleepers vest jackets over there. Back at the candles, they've got dog leads over here. Get a better view of the deck chairs and the hot sauce. Wow. This is insane. This is brilliant. This is so good. Yeah. Gareth's checking out the deck chairs. We've got drinking vessels over there. We've got pens. We've got we've got dice. We've got uh, yeah. Download dice. I might get some dice. Lighters. <laughs> Yeah, you vibing some dice? Some vibing some dice, okay. Good start, good start. We're definitely, we're gonna get a haul, of course we are. But this is mad. Also, for all of your camping amenities, Fat Frank's is where to go. They've got airbed inflations. Uh, they have got deck chairs. They've got a tent if you've forgotten yours. I know that somebody's already forgotten their tent already. Girl, I'm so sorry. Yeah, they've got deck chairs, they've got pretty much everything you can need if you've forgotten anything camping-wise. However, what I will say is, and I'm not trying to like, you know, crap on anybody, but stuff here is expensive. Really, really expensive. Also, for the download merch tent over on the other side by the Superstore, the band t-shirts, from what we could see, they were only doing Metallica and Slipknot. So your other band and, and there was so the one the merch store here will only do your headliners. Yeah. A few other ones they're always going to be in the arena. Yeah. So make sure you check on all of the stalls. I'm gonna do a quick shot of the not the airplane. A quick shot of the village. Yeah, you kind of get used to that after a while. We've got the Oxfam shop back again. The Oxfam shop is amazing. You can find some brilliant finds in there for dirt cheap. The Oxfam shop, we've got outreach as well. This is the village I've been told and from what we've looked at it's a slightly different layout. The side splitter stage is over here so it's not close to the dog tooth stage. Dog tooth stage yeah? Dog house. Dog house that's the one. The dog house has also got the tent back this year. Who saw? but a lot of the vendors that are usually in the arena are actually here this year which you know apparently they're basically saying that because they've sold out they've had to make more room for the guests but well yeah for us i mean at alton towers we're basically told that uh, people are guests so that's who i'm referring to but oh my god yeah it looks so different. Yeah, side split stage. It's just over there next to a black and blue campsite and the public showers. Got lots of food stalls. These are a lot of the main food stalls that are usually in the main arena. So I don't know, guys. We'll have to see what's out and about tomorrow. You know, you've got Chinese, you've got Mexican, you've got pizza, you've got chips, fish and chips. And then you've got the fairground as well. You've got the ghost train, you've got the madhouse, you've got the bump cars. I know that's a favourite. What's the reason you don't like going on the fair? I don't trust it. Why? <laughs> I think once you've worked at Alton Towers, your standards for maintenance is, is pretty high. But I have fun on, the, on them. I might go on the ghost train on my own later. We'll see. I was just saying to Gareth at Disturbia are here. Their clothing is ace. Oh, yes. Gareth's immediately seen the patches. And he's like, I want to buy them all. Well, only the ones I've seen. Yeah, exactly. We have this little game where... Uh, we only get patches of people we've seen and you can only get them if you've seen them for 20 minutes. The big reveal. It's a dog house, yeah. It's uh, all under a tent this year. What was the reason for last year? The Commonwealth Games? Yeah, the Commonwealth Games. Of course they did. 
but we were just saying there's also, <laughs> there's also purple and green camping, quiet camping and eco camping over there. So it is a little bit more of a trek, but I imagine it's so, you know, it can be quiet for you. But this is the first time, so obviously we, we only did RIP last year, so this is the first time we've actually seen the doghouse in a doghouse. We've obviously seen vlogs from previous previous uh, years, different YouTubers, but this will be the first time we'll actually be going into the doghouse. Also, that's where I'm going to be doing my rock fit. Very exciting, so I will be doing that tomorrow, which is Thursday, and then potentially on Friday as well, because we're not actually seeing any bands until, what time? Until the afternoon. So it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be nice. Rock fit is so good to do, especially in the morning. I will say though, I know I've got my shades on again. I will say, don't go if you're like hanging out your butt. Uh, don't go and drink either because how intense it gets, it could quite easily make you chunder. But we've got drinking stations as well. There's loads of water stations this year. Super cool, so you can stay hydrated because it does get really hot and people do tend to like pass out, get tired, not have a good time, get headaches. Oh my God, they've got the Yorkie Puds stand again. Are we getting Yorkie Puds again this year? Heck yeah, we are. That's become a bit of a uh, tradition for us now. But we're just looking at the vendors and nothing's really like popping out to us at the moment. We did say that our main shopping day is probably going to be Friday when Bring Me The Horizon are on because we don't particularly like them. Gareth wants to see them for a few songs and that's about it really, don't you? Yeah. So if you are Bring Me The Horizon fans, I'm sorry I won't be... <laughs> I won't be doing a lot of filming for them and I can only apologise. We're back, we're back at the barn. This is the first time I've actually shown you the barn on this vlog. So this is where RIP tend to congregate and this is also the official merchandise for RIP. You've got hoodies, you've got the gnomes. Oh, what are they at the back? Oh, they're, um, they're water bottles, you've got mugs. You've got got a few little bits and pieces and then obviously you've got the logo on the t-shirt yeah it's looking quite cool i think really nice i think this is one of my favorite logos mm. not gonna lie i do really enjoy it but this is strictly for r.i.p only you've also got a little shop over here where you can get like little snacks little drinks as well and then coming around you've got Sleepy Hollow across the road. Yeah, so access to Sleepy Hollow is just up there. You've got the rest of the happy campers. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna chill at the barn until the pub quiz. Yeah. yeah. Just saying to Gareth, like this is the quietest I've seen the barn apart from early in the mornings and the last time we came here on the Monday. This is where you can get all your craft ales from, all your beers. I'm not very knowledgeable about beers and craft ale so you're gonna to have to have a look at the menu but that's also where you go for your breakfast as well so that's really nice we uh, came here last year and what we do in the mornings get up early come here for like a cup of tea for myself and then these are the different things it includes we have got a veggie breakfast as well uh, they've got your butties They've got hog roast on, they've got giant Yorkshire puddings, oh my god, yes. Uh, Philly cheese steak sub, mac and cheese chips. You can add cheese, curry, or you can have it in a cob. Don't know why it says a bat, because we're in Derby. Uh, burgers as well, pasties, pizza, chips, dirty fries, <laughs> jumbo hot dogs. They've got it all. So there's, I like to think there'll be something for everybody really wild but I thought everybody would want to know that we had crepes um I don't know why this is like important information but wow but nothing. <laughs> we have had technically the first crepes of download isn't that mad mm. I'm literally just like watching you eat I can only apologize maybe we could like do that as like a part of the patreon 
need a section. <laughs> We're just waiting for the quiz to start now. It shouldn't be too long. It is about... Any past two, 25 past two, but the barn is so nice. Like, we've literally just chilled in here listening to tunes, and it's been really nice. And we're in for the quiz. Woohoo! Thank you. And this is us. This is so cute. Oh man, be a shame if someone stole one. I'm very tempted. This is so cool. We are literally so stressed out. We just did a round of 2013 and that's my first download. And I was like, I don't remember anything. So this can only go one of two ways. Either we're gonna do moderately well or we're gonna come last. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be happy like Stoke City with a happy mid table. <laughs> Sung by Alter Bridge, Metallicus. And he's also had Rob Zombie, never gonna stop. Uh, oh, I'm literally like vlogging you because I'm Bye. like, this Number is. Two was Bray Wyatt? Code Orange. Code Orange? Shatter. Shatter. Let me one. in. Code Orange, Shatter, and Code Orange, let me in. Yeah, <laughs> good job. <laughs> the next one was Triple H. And that was Motorhead. Yeah. With King of Kings yep. and the game. Woo! And evolution. He <laughs> wasn't so low. He <sighs> wasn't so low. That's a fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth's so precious about this round because it's restless. Yeah. <laughs> So we've just done the quiz and we came fourth. I'm gutted. If we got two more points, we would have come third and won a prize. Damn it! Damn it! That's okay, it was good fun. Really good fun. Uh yeah, really, really good fun. Like the team were brilliant, so funny, had a really good time. Yeah, it's just something nice to break up the day a little bit, you know? And we met lots of nice people and it was it was good. It was really, really good vibes. We're literally gonna go and get our uh, camping stuff now and then go back and get some food, I think. Behold, our barbecue and the barbecue king. And James Hetfield. And James Hetfield. <laughs> so what we've done is we've bought a little stand what the barbecue went top of because last year they said that oh you know uh, you can go and get some bricks from <coughs> you can go and get some bricks from uh, from where from reception from reception I had, walk, I had to walk all the way over to park farm to get two cobweb ridden bricks but I would just like to say because I want to get the vibe in with the smoke like coming towards me because I'm mysterious <coughs> Um, just have Fire Woman played by the cold. Fire, da, da, da. That's a completely um, different song. That is a completely different song. However, the amount of people that have come and said hello already has been mad. Like our next door neighbours, well, on the other side, uh, knew us from the vlogs. So and came to our IP because and of came them. to our IP because of us. So that's been mad. We're gonna try and make s'mores now. Don't know how well this is gonna go. We're going to try. I mean, yours is doing something. And yours is. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Science. Uh, <coughs> oh god. Right, let's see if it works. I feel like it's not. Oh, 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 okay. So you've got to squish it and then do a thing. Oh my god, yeah it did. S'mores on a barbecue works. Yeah. <laughs> Our American friends will be proud. Very good. Very, very good, nice. very nice. <laughs> I will give mine a go. I don't know about you, but I reckon that is a success. Oh God. <laughs> um, help. 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 Where? Yeah, so I did a thing and now I look like this. Great. Oh, the difference a couple of hours can make. This is what it looks like now. You can tell it's a sold out event. Oh People my God. <laughs> People are still stuck on the motorway. I have literally got ash 
in my lungs from the barbecue but we moved it was a good time we had fun we need to move over to the other side really uh yeah we're just we're just cruising now we're going back into the village gonna see what the crack is we might do the side splitter stage I might check out the dog house but we'll see like usually this night is a night where we just kind of mull around and chill anyway and just show you different bits and pieces so this video is more of a what the RIP experience is more like I guess it's up to you to then sing along to that track hopefully you know the words but the big question on everybody is how will I be judged I hear you ask how will I be how will I be judged well you're judged on three different criteria the first is conviction do you mean it do you feel it do you want it now the mic of destiny it works so no miming now this isn't fucking X Factor we don't care how you sound we're just making noise feel it mean it want it judging you on conviction is I would say London's most idiotic drag queen go on for Miss Lady come on Miss Lady Welcome. Yes! Oh. Right, what's your name? Greg. Greg? Greg Craig. Craig, where are you from, Craig? Wigan. From Wigan? Okay, Craig from Wigan! Let's go!
pretty much winding down now but look how pretty no 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 look how pretty it all is this is our home for the next five nights we were just saying that we can't believe that we're here for five nights as opposed to the usual what four well for three it, normally it's like three days of music but it's four days of music this year I'm just saying like how peaceful this is compared to so our friend is in green camp and we were going to go and meet up with him but uh, plans changed and just saying how different everything is up here and it's just so nice especially if like you know you do want a quieter experience like this is so ideal you know and especially with two people who have got you know anxiety and stress it is just to come back to this after a really full-on day like this is very important you're pensive what are you thinking about a photo a photo yes. oh yeah looks kind of cute doesn't it yeah it looks kind of cute i like that and we are done for the day um i'm tired we've done like fourteen thousand steps between us, it's, oh boy, is it a lot. We we had a great time. We went up to the village. We went to see, um, oh, please tell me what the name is. Andrew O'Neill. Andrew O'Neill. They were incredible. I had really good chats with them. Uh, I'll show you the picture here. Yeah, it was, it was really, really special because I used to do stand-up comedy and uh, I basically said, look, you know, can you help me out because I've I've been in a rut for a really long time about it and they gave me some great advice which was lovely and they were great there was some like <coughs> major hecklers um and it really put a dampener on the previous acts but they took it like a champ and absolutely slaughtered them which was fantastic so cool but yeah what thinking hello I'm getting my calls ready for tomorrow. I'm getting your calls ready for tomorrow. So tomorrow, the plan of action is it's going to be an interesting day because I've got rock fit in the morning. So you get to see me shake my booty and shake my stuff. And then what's the plan, MacGyver? Uh, whatever goes on actually until Friday. Oh. So cherry bombs uh, ten to two. Yeah. Then. Hailstorm, not not until ten to six. Wow. So we've got a long time to kill. Yeah. So even if we miss cherry bombs, you can rest after the rock fit. I don't know. I still want to see them for a little bit. Yeah. We're gonna have like so much time. Yeah. Cause rock fit will finish at about quarter to twelve. So even if we come out of the arena and do a little peruse, cause people will be in the arena. Yeah, we could do that. We've said that the shop, the superstore, it's been chock a block all day. So so busy, and the only time, the time we went in, mm. you've done that yourself. The time we went in was about one, I think, and it was moderately busy but it was doable whereas for the rest of the day it was so so busy so probably recommend going in super early we're gonna go and check it out friday night as well because we're not staying for bring me the horizon and yeah so we're gonna see cherry bombs hopefully we're gonna do a peruse around the arena see what's going on see what's different see what's the same uh see hailstorm and then Alter Bridge, Bridge for Gareth, and then Metallica. So we've only realistically, Cherry, Bro Cherry Bombs are more of a kind of sideshow performance rather than a band. So realistically, we've only got three bands that we're actually seeing tomorrow, which is going to be very interesting. We're probably gonna do a few more bits and pieces around RIP to show you other pieces like our morning routine with it and how we do things 
and also some tips on how to go about it because once you kind of get the idea of it it becomes a lot easier and particularly with going to the showers going to the toilets it becomes a lot nicer so that's going to be very interesting uh we've met loads of lovely people today who have watched the vlogs been super super nice uh yeah we can't wait to meet more and hopefully make some new friends and have some good times but for now we're gonna go to sleep um i'm tired but we hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye bye, bye.